ZI. All right, so we're gonna do a ZI in number 13. So if we look at the ZI kit, we're gonna be a little bit different than we are for our normal GM kit. So this model is gonna be mimicking more of a D1, D2 type bone. In that case, we have to use this countersink tool and we have to tap the bone if we're in D1 or D2. If we're in D3, we have to do a countersink only. And if we're in D4, we just go to the corresponding drill size. Okay. So now there's no full digital workflow, but we're able to still utilize it to be able to get our implant in the ideal prosthetic position. So just like before, we have the same workflow. We're gonna use this bone profiling or milling cutter to make room for our cylinders. And we're just gonna take this down to the depth stop. Pump, pump, pump. And now we have room for our next drill, our little 6-0 and a starter drill to have room for the cylinder to slide down and engage into that bone. So now we're gonna do the same thing, down in, pump, relax, pump, relax, just until we get that down to the stock. And now we are good. Now this case, we're doing a 4313. So we're gonna go down to the 13 millimeter row and we're just gonna follow this workflow. So first we start with our... So same thing, pump and relax, pump and relax, just getting it down to the stop. Now we're just up and upsizing. So now this is our 4 0 for soft bone drill. This is our 4 0 for hard bone or 4 3 soft bone. And now we're going to go to our 4-3 for hard bone or 5-0 for soft bone. Since we're in like a D1 model here, we're going to go to our hard bone 4-3. And now we are done drilling our osteotomy. So we can look right in the middle of the ridge, right where we wanted to place it. But now since we're placing a ZI, now we're going to switch to the ZI kit. And we're going to grab this bone profiling tool for the 4-3 ZI. And we're just going to take it down a little bit past that line. And all we're doing is flaring that cortical plate so we don't get hung up during our implant placement. So you'll see this fits in nicely. I'm going to take this down. And we flared our top. Now the big thing is we're going to thread the inside of this osteotomy just like we would with our thread pitch on our implant. So here we want to take this down to 25 RPMs. Mm -hmm. And we're going to let this kind of guide its own path down to depth to thread this implant osteotomy. Good, and then we're gonna just go backwards. So we're gonna turn this drill into reverse and we're gonna back this up. You're kind of letting it do the work for you. So now we've threaded the inside of the osteotomy, we're ready to place. So the difference between GM and ZI, we're gonna be dri driving this implant down with a mount instead of at fixture level. This is just a protective feature so we don't over torque and put too much torsional strain on the implant, which mm -hmm. could cause fracture. So we can see now we have our ZI mount driver on our handpiece. Mm -hmm. And if we look at the top of this, there's gonna be two arrows on the top, which are gonna tell you which way we have to remove the implant. Right, so you'll see I'm supposed to pull this direction towards the camera. Same thing as before, we're gonna go down till we see this fully engage onto the mount. So you can see now I can hold this and I'm just gonna pull this straight out the directions the arrow tell us. And you can see how sturdy this is. We'll check our speed and torque, make sure we like everything. And now we're just going to our osteotomy site. And now unlike a titanium, like a GM implant, we don't wanna lean on this implant during placement to try to change the position. We have to make sure it follows our osteotomy. So I'm really letting this do you know, the work of following our path that we created with our guide. All right, so there you can see we're already at 35 newtons. We have about a millimeter and a half, two millimeters to go. So at this point, I'm going to keep this mount on. I'm going to change to our ratchet driver so it's fully engaged. Slide this on top. And same thing, always pulling from the bubble. Even more critical when we get to these zirconia implants that we don't want to over torque them. There's our implant placed. Everything looks good. And then we will just pop the mount up. 
out of the implant. And there you can see our ZI implant placed right in the middle of the ridge. Mm.